and then key of G. So we're gonna start with G, B, T, A, G, E, D, B, G, B, D, E, G, F, E, D, C, E, G, A, C, A, G, E, G, B, E, D, E, B, D, E, F, sharp, A, F, sharp, C, E, So, we're using three chords, the G chord, the C chord, and the D seventh chord. We start with the G chord, and we're doing G, B, D, E, G, E, D, B, G, B, D, E, G, F, E, D, C. We land on the C chord, C, E, G, E, C, E, G, E. Back to the G, G, B, D, E, G, E, D, B. Then we go to D, D, F, sharp, A, F, C, E, G, E, G, B, D, E, G, E, D, B. How is this exercise helpful? You're learning the notes that go on the chords for the G chord. When you first start with the G, B, D, those are the notes for the G chord. You can use that on song this. You can use it on cumbias. different other stuff also when you when you're going back down first we go up G B D E G E D B G so went up G B D E G and start come back down E D B G when you're doing that G E D B G that pattern is gonna be used in a lot of mariachi songs for example, it's the ending of boleros. G, D, D, G, E, D, B, G, G. The ending of corridos when it's in two fourths. G, D, G, B, B, A, D, A, D, B, F, G, D, G, E, D, B, G, G. Also, helps you learn that sixth note of the scale. So we're using the first note, the third note, and the fifth note, and the sixth note. G, A, B, C, D, and E is that sixth note. That sixth note, it's used a lot, especially when you do circolos. You're gonna go from that first note of the scale to the sixth note. Six, two, five, and back to one. What that means, you're using the first note of the scale. That's a one. The six, six note of the scale, which you get familiar with when you use this pattern. First, sixth, and the second note of the scale would be G, A. So A. G. G A B C D. So D D G. So one six six two five five one six six two five five one six five three one. So when you do that, it helps you a lot with all that. Now when we go back, when we, when we go down to C. G F natural E D C. That's a little quick run down to C. You can use that in corridos, polcas, anything with a two fourth. Instead of going G D G G A B C G C, you can go G D G F E D C. Um, one arrangement of ojos españoles. Starts with that five, four, three, two, one pattern in a different key, but in this key, it would be G, F, E, D, C, G, G, C. That, that's used a lot, it help you a lot. So once you get to the C chord, C, E, G, A, C, A, G, E, C, it's using 
same pattern. One, three, five, six. Back to the one. Six, five, three, one. It goes back to the G. Then it goes to the D chord. D, F sharp, A, F. Then C, E, G, E. Back to the G chord. G, B, D, E. One three five and sometimes a sixth note. One three five six. One six five three. One. All right. So for this walking blues line, we're using three chords, which is the first chord, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord of the scale. G, A, B, C, and D. One, four, five. And that's gonna be in any key you do it in. The other video we did it was in the key of C. We use the C chord, the F chord, and the G chord. C, D, E, F, and G. And for every chord we're on, we're gonna use, if we start with each chord as the, as the root note, we're gonna use the one, three, one, three, five. You can go ahead and write this down on a piece of paper. We're doing this in the key of G, so we're using the G scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Because the key of G has an F sharp. So the scale has an F sharp. Now this pattern that we use, it's a one, four, five pattern. So those are the chords we use the first chord of the scale, the fourth chord of the scale, and the fifth chord of the scale. And the fifth chord is a 5-7. So that means it's going to be a seventh chord. So we have the G chord. That's the first note. The fourth is C. The fifth is D. But we said it's going to be a 5-7, so it's going to be D7. That's a D7 chord. Okay. So we went ahead and did the G scale. Then we did the C scale. We used an F natural because we're we're using C as a dominant chord right there. Then when we did the five seventh chord, we used the D with a C natural because the seventh means that's gonna be flat. Normally the, the D scale has a C sharp. But when it's a D seventh chord, the C sharp goes down a half step, which makes it a C natural. Okay, so once we have that down, for every every scale that we use, we're gonna use the first note, the third note, the fifth note. And then when we're doing this G and the C chord, we're also using the sixth note. So we go G, B, D, E. Also goes to the G. We can use that eighth note because it's also the first note, just an octave higher. G, B, D, E, G, E, D, B, G, B, D, E, G, F, E, D, C, E, G. A, C, A, G, E. Back to G, B, D, E, G, E, D, B. Then D, F, A, F, C, E, G, E. G, B, D, B, G, E, D, B, G. And that's going to be your pattern. And all the keys. This is in the key of G. In the key of C. We already did it. Go ahead and write it down for you. Use the C scale, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. We use the F scale, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. And we use the G7 chord with the G7 scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Since we have C, F, and G7. That's one, 
or 5-7. So we use the same 1, 3, 5, and the 6 for these two. Remember, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there you go, C, E, G, A, C, A, G, E, C, A, G, A, C, B flat, A, G, F, A, C, D, F, D, C, A, C, E, G, A, C, A, G, E, G, B, D, B, F, A, C, A, C, E, G, A, C, A, G, E, C. And you saw that, it was the same pattern, in two different scales, two different keys. The first video I did was with the C, because it has all naturals, except when it goes to the F, it has a B flat. Same here, G scale has one sharp, except on the C it has all naturals. Hope this video helps you, thank you. So, okay, when we're using the G chord, we're using one, three, five, six, one, six, five, three, one, three, five, six, one, six, five, three, then when we go to the C chord, we're going to use that same pattern also. C is 1, D is 2, so we're not going to use 2, we're going to use 3, which is E. F is 4, and G is 5, and the 6th note is A. So we're going to use the 1st note, 3rd note, 5th, and 6th note. C, E, G, A, C, A, G, E. 1, 3, 5, 6, 1, 6, 5, 3. Now, the little transition we do from the G to the C, G, F, E, D, C, we can look at it as the first note, one, then the seventh note, F, six, five, four, and that's when it lands in the fourth chord, G, A, B, C. There's the C chord. If you're looking at it, before you land on the C, and the C being a 1, you can think of it as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. G, F, E, B, C. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's put that together. 1, 3, 5, 6. 1, 6, 5, 3. 1, 3, 5, 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 5, 6. Six, 